हेलो फ्रेंड्स मोस्ट वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल मैथ्स बाय समित देशमुख टुडे वी आर स्टार्टिंग वन ऑफ द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट चैप्टर फ्रॉम आवर सिलेबस दैट इज ट्रिग्नोमेंट्रिक फंक्शंस सी एवरी चैप्टर इज इंपॉर्टेंट बट दिस चैप्टर इज मोर इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज इट कैन बी को रिलेटेड विथ मेनी अन अदर चैप्टर्स सो लाइक से लिमिट्स कंटिन्यूटी डिफरेंशिएशन इंटर इंटीग्रेशन डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशंस ओके एंड सम पार्ट ऑफ दिस चैप्टर वी आर स्टडीड इन क्लास इलेवेंथ इन क्लास इलेवेंथ वी आर स्टडीड अबाउट ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक आइडेंटिटीज कंपाउंड एंगल फॉर्मुलज विच आर ऑल्सो कॉल्ड लैट्स एडिशन सब्ट्रैक्शन फॉर्मुलज हाफ एंगल फॉर्मुलज डबल एंगल फॉर्मुलज ट्रिपल एंगल फॉर्मुलज फैक्ट्राइजेशन फॉर्मुलज डी फैक्ट्राइजेशन फॉर्मुलज एंड इवन ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक फंक्शंस ऑफ एंगल्स ऑफ अ ट्रैंगल ऑल्सो दिस मच पार्ट यू आर स्टडीड इन क्लास इलेवन सो प्रिपेयर द लिस्ट ऑफ ऑल दीज फॉर्म formulas because these formulas are very important and will be required in this chapter even we have studied about allied angle formulas prepare the chart and uh, keep this chart in your study room now as per as syllabus of class 12th is concern so syllabus is divided into three part first part is trigonometric equation second part is solution of triangle and third part is inverse trigonometric function so let us begin with the first part that is trigonometric equation so equations this equation we are studying since from class 6 that linear equation in one variable linear equation in two variable then you have studied about quadratic equation cubic equation by quadratic equation you have seen how to find out the value of variable by solving the equation isn't it A priority should be given to what factorization method here also we are studying about what equation and which equation trigonometric equation now our definition says that an equation involving trigonometric function or functions how many trigonometric functions are there six trigonometric functions are there which are these six trigonometric function sin cos tan cot sec cosec if at least one trigonometric function appears in the equation at that time we can say that equation is what it is called as trigonometric equation that's why we are saying that an equation involving or you can say that equation containing trigonometric function or function of unknown angle it's called as what trigonometric equation let us consider one example suppose that here sin theta plus cos theta is equals to is equals to say zero so in this such type of in this equation how many trigonometric function appears two trigonometric function appears if at least one trigonometric function appears in the equation then that equation is called as what trigonometric equation so consider another example this result already you have proved as an identity that sin square theta plus cos square theta is equals to 1 so this identity is also nothing but what equation and any equation containing either one or two trigonometric or at least one trigonometric function then that e that equation is called as what trigonometric equation considered one simple example say sin theta is equals to what 1 so then in this equation also one trigonometric function appears so such examples are called as or these are the examples of what trigonometric equation hope the idea about definition of trigonometric equation is clear in an equation if at least one trigonometric function appears then that equation is called as what trigonometric equation well now whenever we have studied about linear equation in one variable or in two variable or in just in 10th standard you have studied about what quadratic equation by solving the equation we are finding value of such variable which satisfies that equation such values are called as what solution of that equation or it is called as root of the equation or it is called as zero of the equation isn't it so now here also we are finding what solution of trigonometric equation already this definition we are studying from 6 standard solution means what value of the variable which satisfies the equation when we can say that it satisfies the equation for that value of variable if the value of left hand side and right hand side becomes what equal at that time we can say that that value of variable satisfies the equation okay so such value of variable and in this case variable is nothing but what unknown angle this unknown angle is nothing but variable in what trigonometric equation so that's why here we are we are defining solution of trigonometric equation as a value of variable variable is nothing but what unknown angle in the trigonometric 
equation which satisfies the equation is called as solution of trigonometric equation. What is alternate word for solution? Solution is also called as root of the equation or it is also called as zero of the equation, isn't it? So now here what in the last what is the third example sine theta is equal to 1 just here we have considered one simple example so here we have constructed the graph of sine function also observe that value of sine is equals to what 1 1 when theta is equals to what pi by 2 theta is equals to pi by 2 again the value of sine theta is 1 where at 5 by by 2 so such value again somewhere we will get the value of uh, value of this trigonometric equation becomes 1 for again some another value of what uh, theta also here we have got pi by 2 here we have got uh, 5 pi by 2 then we will get 9 pi by 2 on this side you can observe that for minus 3 pi by 2 minus 3 pi by 2 okay for all these values of theta this equation is satisfying means for these values of theta value of sine theta is what one that's why such value of unknown angle which satisfies the given trigonometric equation are called as what solution of that equation hope the idea about solution is clear so now we can observe that this value of sine theta is one at how many point as you stand here we have taken one two three point but again if you are going on increasing this real number line we will get infinite value of theta means every trigonometric equation has how many solution infinite number of solution now these solutions are divided into two parts principal solution and general solution so idea about solution is clear solution means what value of the variable which satisfies the given equation and in this case variable is nothing but what this unknown angle for this trigonometric equation it is identity identity means this equation is satisfied by every value for every theta on the real number line means every equation has infinite number of solution so these solutions are divided into what two parts one is principal solution and another is what general solution now let us discuss about principal solution and general solution so now let us discuss about the definition of what principal solution so the value of variable variable here we have denoted by what theta so the value of variable which satisfies the given trigonometric equation is called as what solution of that trigonometric equation so the solution theta satisfies certain condition at that time that value of theta is called as what principal solution so let us try to understand which condition should be satisfied by the value of theta so that we can say that it is what principal solution the solution theta of a trigonometric equation is called principal solution if its value lies in between what 0 to 2 pi means value of theta is greater than or equals to theta but strictly less than what 2 pi if the value of theta lies in this interval and satisfies the given trigonometric equation then such values of theta are called as what principal solution just try to understand this uh, by considering one simple example here already we have constructed the graph of which function sine theta so using this graph we are trying to understand the definition of what principal solution so let us consider one very simple example say sine theta is equals to 1 so now we are finding only such values of theta which lies in between what 0 0 to what 2 pi and satisfies this equation in this in this interval where the value of theta sine theta is 1 value of sine theta is 1 at theta is equals to what pi by 2 so that's why so theta is equals to pi by 2 this value lies in between what 0 at 2 what 2 pi so such interval is called as what semi close semi open interval close means what 0 is included and this open means what 2 pi is excluded means it takes the values in between what 0 to 2 pi in which 0 is included but 2 pi is what excluded now pi by 2 lies in this interval and satisfies this equation so such value of theta or variable are called as what principal solution so again consider one another example here sine theta is equals to what say 0 now we can observe that sine theta is 0 at, at what? Theta is equals to 0. 
again at what theta is equals to pi and again at what theta is equal to 2 pi but our definition says that theta should be strictly less than 2 pi means 2 pi is not included so that's why we are not able to consider 2 pi here means how many values are there in between 0 to 2 pi which satisfies this equation 1 is 0 why we can say that 0 is included because our definition says that theta is either greater than 0 or equal to 0 equal to 0 means 0 is included so that's why here we can say that we are able to consider 0 again value of this graph or sine theta is 0 at theta is equal to what pi and these two values belongs to what 0 close interval means what 0 is included and open means what this value 2 pi is excluded means it takes the values in between 0 to 2 pi including 0 and excluding what 2 pi if these conditions are satisfying by the variable at that time such value of variable are called as what principal solution hope the definition of principal solution is clear to you when we can say that solution of trigonometric equation is principal solution if it lies in between which interval in this interval 0 to 2 pi including 0 and excluding what 2 pi now let us discuss about general solution general solution means what every trigonometric equation has what infinite solution so if we are considering every possible solution of a trigonometric equation then such equations are called as what general general solution general solution can be expressed expressed by some algebraic expression and which satisfies the given trigonometric equation such equations are called as what general solution general, now in this case at how many value at how many real number the value of sine theta is equal to 0 at 0 pi 2 pi 3 pi 4 pi on this side minus pi minus 2 pi minus 3 pi minus 4 pi continuing this way means for this equation we are getting infinite solutions getting it and if we are considering all these solutions then such solutions are called as what general solution and the general solution can be generalized by using what periodicity now try to understand what is the meaning of periodicity when we can say that function is periodic function if its value repeats after some fixed interval if you will observe here graph of this function chalo yaha se yaha tak observe karo whatever may be the values we are getting same value again we are getting in this interval again same values we are getting in this interval means values are repeating repeating after some fixed interval if the value of function repeats after a fixed interval then such functions are called as periodicity are called as periodic function and using periodicity we are we are finding what general solution of the trigonometric equation so how to find out general solution of a trigonometric equation that part we are studying in the next video in which we are we will we will discuss about nine important formulas to find out what general solution of trigonometric equation and applying these formulas we are solving the example from our exercise so hope the idea about principal solution is clear when we can say that solution is principal if its value lies in this interval and if you are considering all the solutions of the trigonometric equation then all the set of all solution is called as what general solution but this general solution can be generalized using what periodicity okay means using periodicity already you have studied about periodic function in class 11th also so using periodicity we are finding general solution of the trigonometric equation so now in the next video let us try to prove some